the art of the possible is possible. And even when people say no or in circumstances you feel aren't in your favour, that, that true sense of grit and resilience is something that you, you, you have. Thinking outside the box, thinking of you know, the big problems in the world that need solving and a way to start approaching them. You're looking at large macroeconomic opportunities and trying to design solutions and services that meet those needs. Being curious and asking why rather than accepting what's in front of you. To make a difference, uh, to make a product, to help someone, to do something that uh, is meaningful to yourself and hopefully to the rest of the world. There's this environment and this culture of all these different kind of people doing that and chasing their, their dream of, of having an impact on the world. And I think that's where, yeah, it is. There's not many people in here you'd meet that are sort of small or focused on the little things, they're, they're looking big. It's always pushing the boundaries of what's possible in society. Having a crazy idea and actually pursuing it. Doing things, a lot of people will say, wow, like, how? Stone Chalk is definitely for big thinkers. There's a lot of people here with a lot of skin in the game and looking to develop technologies that are going to change the world in their industry. Um, similar to raising a child, it needs a village. I guess um, this is a little bit that village. Global aspiration is really important. You've got to think big to be successful, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have different thinkers in the ecosystem. Stone and Chalk is a wonderful place for people who are motivated to you know, think about problems and solve problems. I think they really understand that what it is to take risks and be an entrepreneur in that there's so many highs and lows and even in your lowest moments stone and chalk make sure that you're well supported people in the community at stone and chalk are really committed to solving um, problems uh, in a way that's potentially not been tried before what i've seen a lot of is people when you ask them about their business they start with a problem and i think that indicates to you straight away that they're thinking about a problem and instead of just building a business they're building a solution there's a sense of home when you come in through the lift that you're here and that if you've had a stressful even commute or you've got things on your head when you, I feel when I walk through the lift that I can go talk to somebody if I need to or even if it's just banter at the coffee machine, there is just a sense of something living, breathing, there's, there's something going on.